How should we view Bitcoin, actually? Is it a folly or, or will it become an asset class? I'd say a couple of things. One, it's clearly one of, and there are, you know, a number of them, a sign of exuberance. And we're starting to see some of these pop up. The sale of the painting the other day was another example. So I think that's the first thing to say. Secondly, I would say it is innovation. Now, if you look at the history of money, or the history of central bank and the history of money, what you find is every time, and Ken Rogoff has written about this in his latest book extensively, every time something new comes in around money, it tends to come from the private sector. You know, banknotes originally came from the private sector. A lot of these innovative things come from the private sector. This is in a way no different. However, uh, what we've also seen in history every single time, and this is what many people forget and ignore here, ultimately, governments either regulate no. or they, in a sense, co-opt it, take it over. Uh, and so I think this is the part that is that is lost in this discussion. And when that happens, uh, when that happens, then at the very latest, that will be the moment yeah. when this folly kind of crumbles. So I think that the notion that this can be perpetually kind of done outside of the hands of government is a is a great fallacy. Uh, and if you study history, it's very clear that that's not how things work. Innovation comes from the private sector in the area of money, always historically but it always gets co-opted okay. or regulated by governments.